Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. This is complete demo of a genetic programming approach to record deduplication. Several systems that rely on consistent data to offer high quality services such as digital libraries and e-commerce brokers may be affected by the existence of duplicates, quasi replicas or near duplicate entries in their repositories. Because of that, there have been significant investment from private and government organizations for developing methods for removing replicas from its data repositories. So we propose a genetic programming approach to record deduplication that combines several different pieces of evidence extracted from data content to find deduplication function that is able to identify whether two entries in a repository are replicas or not. This is complete flow of genetic programming approach for that input is data set. For the data set, cosine similarity between the attributes are called later. Based on that cosine similarity, future vectors are extracted with the highest cosine similarity. The future vectors are considered as the populations. For using the populations, we are going to form the fitness function. If that fitness function reaches the fitness value, then that is the best deduplication function we can remove duplicate by using that deduplication function if it is not reached then we have to go to the third step initialization of populations and then continue from that step this is demo of our project first we are going to select the data set For this data set, cosine similarity between the attributes are calculated. Based on that cosine similarity, populations are extracted. 
by using this populations fitness function is selected this one is the best fitness function using that fitness function we can remove the duplicate records this is the record reader from excel sheet here we are going to verify this record is a duplicate or not this is the fitness value for that fitness function if the fitness value is exist in the database then this record is duplicate record otherwise it's not a replica this is not duplicate record so it can be stored in the database again if you read the tracker going to verify so it is a duplicate record it can't be stored into the database this is demo of our project thank you for watching